Hey, what's going on everyone? Dave here with some more Majora's Mask. We're playing it right now. Make sure if you haven't already, do subscribe and smack the bell so that you never miss a thing. We got daily gaming content on the regular. So, now, as you can probably are wondering, as you can probably are wondering, why is David in Clocktown, especially without a sword? We're getting it forged, if you remember. So, I'm going to hop in right here. I'm not really going to do this side quest, but I want to see if I get... Oh, hey, we can get some dialogue, because I don't know if I'll be able to do this in, an, in a later episode. Uh, um, I actually made perfect timing, wow! I just loaded up my save file again, and warped over here. Uh, uh, what is this? I've delivered this to you! Uh, wait, this letter, where, where did you... From the post box! That's not what I meant, from the post box, where? From the post box somewhere! That's not what I mean! <laughs> so, I love the postman. Okay. Okay. Can you... the? Thank you. No! No, not you! Jesus. Welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Um, did you have a reservation? Yes. See, it's weird, because if you go too early, she'll be like... Uh... I'm sorry, we're booked up, but only like after this time, and I think it's after when she gets the letter, then she's like, did you have a reservation? So I don't understand that, but it's interesting. Ooh, there's a knife chamber on the second floor. Yay, I got a key. Not sure why, but you apparently had a reservation. Gee, it's not like I'm gonna, totally gonna steal it from somebody else. Oh, right, and this. You're also looking for KV. I have a request. I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11.30, please come to the kitchen. I don't know if I'm really going to go through with this, but I might as well initiate it because Anju is an absolute sweetheart and she's delightful. What the heck is- oh, it's a- Rose's sister. Sorry, I'm not going to Camaro for you right now. Ooh! What a ramshackle in! Is this room first class? You can hear whoever's next door for crying out loud. Whatever you're saying for free, can't expect much. Can I hear? Darn, I can't hear anything. Alright, I'm gonna jump over this chair, and the reason I did this whole thing is because you can get 100 rupees. So, with these 100 rupees, we're gonna go over to West Clocktown. Because I'm gonna buy some stuff before, and tackle a couple side quests before, well, by a couple, I really just mean one. We're gonna do one side quest while we're doing Snowhead, because we can go to the temple right now, and it's gonna be awesome. You are a slow postman. It's like somebody slowed down time or something. Now, West Clock Town, we're gonna go west. I don't know why I wasn't using the bunny hood there. That makes everything better. Now, uh, ooh, postman, yeah, I, there's nothing to do at the postman's house, except there's a heart piece you can get, but I forget what you need to, I forget how well prepared, yeah, I don't want to be here. I forget how well prepared you need to be for that, so... I'm gonna ignore it for right now. And if we go in here, we can be like, hey, bomb me up, bro. So we're gonna need a bomb bag for this next side quest. You could actually get through this entire game without a bomb bag. It's because all you need is a blast mask and you're fine. But, and I could have waited to do something, but I, if you save the lady from Sakon, you can get the big bomb bags the next day. So, and that's cool, and then you could trade that big bomb bag in for a bigger one in Snowhead. However, I'm just not going to deal with it right now because I don't want to, and if I talk to Andrew at 11... Andrew? <laughs> Andrew at 11.30, then she, the lady will get mugged. It's like a simultaneous thing. You can't save everyone. Actually, a big theme that I enjoy about this game. So, we're going to go in here. This is why I needed the bomb bag. We're gonna do Honey and Darling. This is another three-day thing, like the Deku Playground. Looks like we have a visitor, honey. All oh, right, that's that's the man. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. <laughs> oh, would you like to play? Today is Mom's Shoot Gallery Day, isn't it, darling? <laughs> One game is ten rupees. <laughs> Hit each target with a bombachu in the time it takes to us to dance through one song. <laughs> but if you fall off the platform, you're out, right, darling? <laughs> Are you ready? Stop the music. Okay. These guys have the strangest business model idea, but I, I love it. Now, all you gotta do is just find a flat part and then just go. Or not, because I failed. You gotta make sure you're facing it dead on. 
so that all your bomb shoes go vertically. This thing does go faster. I do not like his face right there when he tw when it twirls around. Oh god. All right. Okay. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna try to see if I can do this one. Yeah, I think that's it, right? No, that's not. Oh god, it's getting faster. I hate you all. I hate these guys. The easiest way to do this is just in one circuit. So, oh god, I, I was lagging by like one second. Oh, this is bad. Anyway, what you don't want to do is drop it on a corner because dropping it on a corner Fs everything up. This is too fast. Uh, yeah, you really just want to start a rhythm. Did I get anything? I'm just going to go ham right now. There we go. How funny would that be if it worked? Oh, wait, it did. No, let me get it. Let's go. Go. Go, Bombju. Uh. I'm playing again. So round two, we want to just be able to do this in one circuit like that. Okay, see? I'm already in a good spot. Drop it now. Okay. It's really just timing. And to be fair, the hitbox is kind of generous. Oh god, that was really generous. Bang. Okay. It's when it gets faster, that's when it's like a pain. So there we go. Oh no, now I'm lagging. Now I'm a lagging dragon. Okay, now I just need that one. And I think that's the door, right? Yeah, that's gonna be an easy one. See, it's not that hard of a game, but if you lose your rhythm like I just did right now, now it's hard. So I think that's cool, but I got it. So it's not that bad at all. And there are gonna be other games we can do. I think that's the hardest one, because bomb shoes are just weird. <laughs> did you see that, honey? He got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with him, honey. Yes. That's an annoying, so let's show off even more for him, darling. Show off? I'm like 10. Even though I have the brain of an adult, I'm like 10. You guys, ugh, gross. <laughs> it looks like we have a visitor, honey. If it's a cut. Oh, you won't let me. Got the perfect score. You want to play again? Runs until tonight. Okay, yeah. No! He says he isn't playing. Yes, because I won. And we got actually a pretty good ROI on that. 50 rupees, so... We can soar away to Snowhead, because thankfully I smacked it with the sword before getting it sharpened. I've done that where I didn't smack this statue, and then I got my sword sharpened, so I was kind of screwed, and I had to do a lot of rolling. Nevertheless, what's that? There's something in the middle of the blizzard. Can you see it? Yes, I can. So it's going to blow me away, unless... Oh, wait, no. Sorry, apparently this only works with drums. So, I'm gonna put this over. And there's a strange gust that will just, like, destroy you. But, I've got the power. Oh. Uh, there we go. There we go. Bum, 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 bum. Sleep now. And if you activate the Lens of Truth, which I don't know why I didn't do, you'll find out that this guy is up here. Dude, get with the times. First of all, you're like this weird ghost Goron who's invisible for some reason. And don't you know what's going on in the temple? Don't you know there's a crazy frozen goat causing problems in there? Like, y y the world is going to end because you're doing your job. <laughs> Alright, and he's dead. Not really. But, now we can get through. So yeah, he'll just keep blowing you and you'll never be able to get in the, the snowhead. That was a very poorly constructed sentence. However, I don't care. Oh, what's cool is that I actually don't have magic right now, so I don't need to worry about going nuts and flying off the place. And if I'm correct, we don't need to do Honey and Darling till day two, and we don't need to see Anju till 11:30. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna ugh, we're gonna have a lot of time to do stuff. All right, boom. Oh no, no magic. Yeah. I don't want magic because it's actually easier to get up here as I f do that. As I was saying, it's easier to get up here without magic because then you're not going to explode and spike all over the place. However, now we go into the temple. Can't believe we're doing this already. I feel like this was faster than Deku Land, and I'm doing side quests on top of this. So let's just break this, and this is kind of big. It's going to take more than average strength. You mean Goron strength? <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm being followed by bows. Get away, bow. Oh, hey. Wolfie. 
I don't remember if there's an item around here, but let's find out. Got something? Got something for me? Anybody? Is there another bow? Who's there? I thought there was an item in here. I sense treachery. Where is he? There. There are these guys. Item? Nothing? Dang, I'm getting gypped already and I just entered. Maybe it's invisible? Let's just check real quick. Real quack. Oh. You, Goron can't use the lens of truth? Oh, I, I got magic. <laughs> they're not being racist. They're just following the rules. Okay, let's... Can I get some magic now that I'm... Not rolling! Okay, whatever. I'll get magic eventually. Let's go through. And... Tattle... What do you want, Tattle? Slippery places you can curl up as a Goron while you're rearing across. Okay, I need magic to do that. There we go. Asked and answered. Oh, yay! I'm all full. Now we are gonna. Oh, we got. We're gonna end the episode. <laughs> yeah, there's like nothing here. Okay, get away, wolf. Oh, hey, money. So I'm gonna end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we will continue through the Snowhead Temple and see what it has in store. I'll try to keep an eye on the time, but don't permit. Don't hold me to the promise of remembering what to do at 11:30. We'll we'll see what happens. For now, though, this is Dave out. Peace out.